what's up everybody how's it going i'm fox thanks for clicking on my videos i really appreciate it also thanks for checking out my channel um if you guys want some notifications uh click on that little bell and you'll get notified whenever i put up content in this video i'm going to talk to you guys about my 15 years on xbox and as we know um xbox just celebrated 15 year anniversary last week and i want to share with you guys some thoughts about um, all the consoles and all the games that I've played and everything basically that I like about Xbox and why basically I choose the fact that it's my main console and I really, I really, really enjoy it. Um, so let's start thinking back to the OG Xbox. Uh, back in 2001, I believe I was 14 years old, my older brother got an Xbox, an OG Xbox, which at the time, at the time we thought it was weird because... We always played on PlayStation and Sega consoles, so it was really weird for us to get used to like a brand new console with games. Uh, most of the games he had were exclusive, so it was weird for us to get into those franchises like Halo and stuff like that. But Halo was my first first person shooter, so that's one of the main things I think about when I think about the OG Xbox. Um, another thing is that he had music in the console, and I always thought that was awesome. Eventually, when he did get Grand Theft Auto 3, which I used to play that a lot when he was out and, and about, and uh, I remember changing through the stations and playing his music uh, whenever you were in a car in Grand Theft Auto, so that was awesome. He also had some fighting games on there. We used to play against each other, Tetris. Uh, like I said, Halo, we used to play that split screen. I never played a uh, Halo campaign one or two uh, until recently, actually. But that's the stuff that I think about when I think of the OG Xbox. Basically, having fun with my brothers playing on the OG Xbox, specifically my older, older brother. Um, the fact that they had online, I thought that was pretty cool, even though I never used it. Uh, the only thing for sure my brother did was have LAN parties and they would hook up a whole bunch of Xboxes together. So that was always fun. Um, the fact that it had internal storage or, or hard drive, that that was awesome. That you didn't need a memory card. All that stuff just blew my mind. It was like um, really weird, even though it was like a big console. It was really weird for me to get used to it. Uh, even the controller was a giant controller. I didn't like it at first, but I got used to it after a while. But yeah, it was a nice console to have. But my primary console around that time was the PlayStation 2. So yeah. Uh, but either way, it had great games. I had Buffy on there. I had Amped. Um, so yeah, it was really cool. So that's what I think of when I think of the first Xbox that came out. Um, when I think of the Xbox 360, though... Uh, I didn't get it right away, like in 2005 when it came out. I started playing around 2007, and oh my god, it's, to this day, it's the best console I've ever played. Before that, I obviously liked the PlayStation 2 and the Sega Genesis, but um, the 360 is my number one favorite console. It had the amazing, amazing games. It had awesome features. Um, the reason I first played it was my ex, um, or my boyfriend at the time, brought it over and he showed us like uh call of duty 3 and gears of war and stuff like that um a couple months i think later uh call of duty 4 came out and i was like hooked on that i played uno online uh guitar hero on there as well loved the arcade games on the xbox i loved the the dashboard always refreshed new stuff all the time netflix and had apps it had party chat I just, obviously the 360 is my favorite, so there's so many things that I want to mention that I loved. Um, and while I was playing COD 4, I met a whole bunch of female gamers. We had a clan, uh, Team Foxy, they were called, and um, it was fun. I met my, fr my best friend on there, uh, found out that she lived like 45 to like 50 minutes away from me, so we met up in real life, we, ha we hung out, we had sleepovers, all that cool shit. Um, I loved every, every, not every single game, but most of the games on Xbox, like AAA games, amazing. Um, like I said, arcade games, that was awesome. Another thing about the arcade games that I loved, besides like Summer of Arcades, was the fact that they had Sega games on there as well. Because I loved the Sega console and the fact that they were on a, a newer or last gen uh, console, that was amazing to me. Um, 
what else? The fact that they had great exclusives like Gears, like Halo, like Forza, I thought that was amazing. Uh, first time I played Gears of War, I loved the campaign. I didn't like the multiplayer, and I played that on Insane Awesome. The first time I played Halo 3 campaign, that was on there as well, and, and multiplayer. Loved it, um, but I didn't play 1 and 2 at the time, so... Like, um, I had friends, my ex and my brothers, they would tell me, like, what the story or was about. I knew who Master Chief was in Cortana, but they kind of, like, told me more about the story so I could play 3, which I thought that was awesome. Um, I really enjoyed that. The fact that the 360 was my first console that I played online with other people, against other people, uh, chatted with a whole bunch of people in party chat, amazing. All that stuff just, uh, just comes together. And it just makes me think of the 360 and all the amazing times I had. And it's still, like I said, my favorite console. Um, now, when I think of the new gen, um, even though I got into it kind of late, I got into it last year. Um, so it is kind of funny. As soon as I saw E3, I had to have it. Um, and I didn't even know there was that many great games on there. So I jumped on the bandwagon kind of late because I was enjoying my 360 so much. And I was catching up with some of the PS3 exclusives that I didn't even touch that console because I was so busy playing on the 360. But yeah, I love, um, as soon as I got the Xbox One, I loved it. I was enjoying all the awesome features on there as well. I thought it was going to be more of the same as the 360, but it wasn't. It was more than that. Um, so that was pretty cool. The features, like I said, I love the apps on there. The snap feature, record and taking screenshots, all that. Loved it. Um, if it wasn't for the Xbox One, like, I wouldn't be on YouTube today because I've wanted to do YouTube since the 360 and never really got around to getting all that set up and buying all this and that to, uh, put my videos online. Xbox One just made that so easy for me. Um, another thing I love about Xbox One is the great parties, uh, bigger than before, uh, so you can have so many people on there, so when we have our game times, or just the fact that a whole bunch of people get a group together randomly when we're gaming, I don't have to worry about the chat filling up, I just know that there's going to be a whole bu a bunch of people that could join us, and it would be pretty, I mean, sometimes there's problems where, uh, people get kicked out and stuff when it's too much to handle, but usually it holds up pretty, pretty good. Um, what else? There's a lot of amazing games on Xbox One, even the fact that I didn't get to try on release day. So I, play, I played Killer Instinct uh, last year. I played Sunset Overdrive last year. Recently, I played Forza 5, and that was amazing. Uh, the fact that you can have back and pet, that's even better than ever because uh, all the Halo games are on Xbox One now. Uh, so... The fact that one of my first games was Master Chief Collection, I, I could play through all the Halo games in the Xbox One. Uh, and yes, I did play um, in the Master Chief Collection. I did play 1 and 2. So I've officially played all the Halos. And um, I think it's pretty awesome because when you think of Xbox, you do think of Halo more so than Gears, even though I love Gears, obviously. Uh, and, and we all know that Halo is also... 15 years old, uh, right along with Xbox, so I think it's actually pretty perfect. All the great friends that I've made in this community, uh, along the whole community of Xbox, whether it was the OG Xbox and you're playing LAN parties with people I never met before, because they're like friends and friends of my brothers, whether I'm playing on 360 and I just met a whole bunch of new people and we're playing COD together or whatever, uh, and now on the Xbox One, we have game time and we just, a whole bunch of people from Twitter or from YouTube, they, you know, they add you and they chat with you and they join your party. That's all that stuff is amazing. I feel like overall Xbox has one of the best communities I ever played on. Um, I never felt that way playing on a different console or anything like that. So I really like the Xbox because of the community, uh, and everybody loves playing multiple different types of games, especially multiplayer stuff. So uh, you could be in a party with someone, they could be playing Titanfall or COD or Gears or Halo. And sometimes you guys could, you know, swap and play a whole bunch of stuff together. So I really, really love that about Xbox. I don't think I can say enough great things about the console, about Microsoft. Um, obviously, 
no company, no console is perfect. And obviously, there also is other things on other consoles that this consoles don't have. But overall, I think uh, Xbox are my favorite. Even though I wasn't into the OG Xbox as much, I still had it around. I still knew who Master Chief was. I've still played Halo. Um, I, I know what that console did for every console after that. I, I know what a big impact it had on the gaming community. Um, and then obviously the 360, my favorite. And now the Xbox One, I'm so happy with it. And it is my primary console, of course. Another thing I wanted to point out before I go is on the OG Xbox, I have seven games, still collecting for that. On the 360, I have 85, same, I'm still collecting for that. And right now, as it stands, on the Xbox One, I have 32 games, and I am not counting digital, by the way, but I love my physical games, and um, yeah, so when I do think of Xbox, I do think of the awesome games, the features, and the great community. Let me know what you guys think down below. When you think of Xbox, when you think of 15 years, what do you guys think of, obviously, besides Halo and how awesome that is? Uh, Side note, I think Halo 5 is like my favorite multiplayer, uh, but obviously that's just my preference, my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below uh, about Halo 15 years, about Xbox, uh, which was your first Xbox console. Um, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget comment below, um, check out the podcast Console Corner on Gamers Know Best channel, and leave a comment. Thanks. Take our city back and drive our enemy into the grave they've been so happily digging. One final effort is all that remains. 